guys, it's Sam, and for today's video, I'm going to be taking on the Crayola Crayon Challenge. These are a new pack of crayons. I know the box doesn't look new, but that's because I've had it roughing around in my stuff, but it's a new box. Uh, there's one missing crayon, don't ask. Now because I'm lazy, I'm not going to be drawing a unique picture for this challenge. I will just be using a drawing from... Da, 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 da. My coloring book, which is now available. You can get it in my Gumroad store as an ebook, or you can go on my Amazon page linked in the description for the physical copy. I have a video talking all about this book. I'll put it in the description. Definitely go check it out. I'm very excited. So yeah, I've chosen to do this one. No particular reason. I'm just I don't know, I kind of like this one. <laughs> and before I get into it, I just want to say a quick hello to all of my new subscribers. Holy crap, there are a lot of you. Hi. Welcome to my channel. I hope you like it so far. Definitely leave a comment down below telling me a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you like to draw, what mediums you like to use, and feel free to say hi to each other because, you know, we're all artists and art lovers here. Let's build a conversation. And for those of you new here, if you'd like to follow me on other social medias, that's all linked in the description down below. All right, so let's get started. All right, so walking into this, I had really little of uh, expectations. Like, I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. The last time I did a crayon drawing was January of 2016, and that was a three crayon challenge. And that just... Mmm, I'm still haunted by that one. <laughs> but yeah, this didn't actually go that bad. I think the worst part of it for me was just the slow build-up, like the... getting the first initial layers down was... just because it took forever and it was really slow and... I was concerned about my wrist and uh, it was a little bit boring, but then I tried to tell myself, okay, we're just sitting down, let's just have this nice relaxing time and then it started to get better from there. Out of the 24 colors that I had in this set, I didn't end up actually using that many. I had six main colors that I used in the entire piece, which was blue violet, dandelion, gray, indigo, brown, black and then I used a touch of blue, white, and I tried adding some red but it just, after I put down a couple lines I'm like this is a mistake. <laughs> so I essentially just used eight colors if you count white and black as a color. Um, the only the thing I would do differently, like this wasn't that bad, the thing that I would change up if I were to do this challenge again, if it's permittable to cheat quote unquote for a crayon challenge, is to actually use marker because the white of the paper, I used computer paper, um, it really shows through and it just looks, it just looks like crayon. Like that's it's not necessarily a bad thing if that's what you're going for, but I really wanted something smoother and it shows up especially on the darker colors. Like on the upper half of their body, it's not nearly as noticeable. In fact, it kind of makes for like a nice texture, but on the black of like the manta ray part, it just looks really noticeable. <laughs> so I would totally be open to doing another crayon drawing and um, perhaps one a little bit more serious and less laid back and have a marker base to kind of get rid of some of that white from the, the get go and um, then go from there. I'm also not a big fan of the black crayon. That is not really black and then if you press down really hard you can get a black but otherwise it's just a gray and it just didn't look good <laughs> i don't know if that's just all black crayola crayons or if they have a different thing or i don't know but i didn't like the black but every other color was relatively fine though i didn't find the blue to be particularly blue like if you think of blue like that's not yeah <laughs> And um, the white was kind of useful for um, burnishing. I'm not a big fan of burnishing. I'm not a huge advocate for it um, because I don't like what it does to the paper. But I started to use it uh, mostly towards the end. And it did make things a bit smoother. But then given that the rest of the, the piece, like the majority of the manta ray, has that white showing through and then using the white crayon got rid of some of that, it kind of clashed in terms of like appearance and like it didn't match as well anymore. I'm like, 
All right, so that probably wasn't the best idea. <laughs> but this challenge wasn't that bad. I had fun. I liked it. I would like to do more crayon stuff in the future. And um, by the way, if you guys have done this challenge, feel free to let me know. I would like to uh, check it out. I think using uh, basic tools like these can be fun in these like whole cheap art supplies challenge sort of things. Oh, and the only other uh, part that I noticed that was difficult was just getting um, really thin lines. I had to kind of rub some of the crayons on a separate paper to get them to get that point so I could go into the tail and some of the more edges bits. But yeah, aside from those things, um, this was not that bad of a challenge. I, um, I think I experienced many, much less frustrations in this crayon challenge than in the MS Paint challenge. And I still liked the MS Paint challenge, but the lack of brush sizes was so anger inducing. And that was like the only issue was the brush sizes. <laughs> I'm still upset. I'm still upset. You can just, you can tell. <laughs> I'll never get over that. Um, but anyway, I just think crayons get a bad rep, bro, because I, I think they were fun. And I think y'all should just give them another try because you can do a lot with them. And I think something that a lot of people don't think about, um, even with colored pencils too, is that you can layer them. And you notice from the beginning of the drawing, I started out with brown and a manta, way, a manta ray is black so you know don't just color something that you perceive it to be like try layering different colors the majority of this piece is like purple blue and brown and it just makes for I don't know I just think <laughs> it's worth trying to layer different colors and um, take advantage of that and that's that's my little rant thing for today I took a little break between after finishing the figure, if I can call it a figure, the mermaid, <laughs> um, and just kind of, you know, went around, did some chores and stuff and came back and it just it looks so empty with just the white background. And it's just kind of funny that the more I've grown as an artist, the more it's like white, plain white backgrounds kind of make me uncomfortable. Like I can't leave something just blank. I have to put something there. So I put this weird watery <laughs> design. <laughs> it looks kind of dumb, but I mean it fills up the space and it kind of makes the picture feel a bit more... picture? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I didn't really know what else to do, but I think it I think it helped like complete it a little bit, gave it a little bit more of a, a thing. I can't think of words right now, I'm super smart. I also cheated just a tiny touch. Um, I used my soccer white gel pen as highlights, but oh my god, did that gel pen not want to go on the crayon. That was a lot of just like rolling in the same spot over and over again and trying to drag a little bit just for some highlights, but it really didn't want to. So I probably, I would have to think of something else to use for highlights if I'm doing crayon stuff in the future, because uh, gel pen, not so much. <laughs> All in all, I had fun. I think it came out pretty decently. I would like to try markers with crayon stuff in the future. And if you guys would like to see more crayon challenges from me, just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so here is the finished artwork. I realized later I unintentionally made them look a lot like Ursula. <laughs> I swear I had none of that in mind while drawing. No Disney, no Ursula, no nothing. It's just like, the, the colors look nice together. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked this video and just wanna say a quick mention again that my coloring book is now available and thank you to everyone who has checked it out so far. Links are in the description for the ebook and physical book version. And if you want to share with me any of your colored versions of my drawings, just use the hashtag SamBMermaid because I'm super original with hashtags. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.